Eldred. In terms of the buckoffs, we haven't seen a ton of buckoffs yet. We're working our way through round number three. This is Luis Blanco against a bull Mac that we have watched really be stellar for a number of years, but lately, or at least the past few outs, they've switched up the delivery. Yeah, and for good reason. This is a bull you're used to seeing him in championship rounds, 15-15 bucking battles. And He's getting some age on him. He started getting too close out of a right-hand delivery, and it was messing him up. They've moved him over here to the left hand. I've seen him out here. He's still really good. Look for him out of a left-hand delivery, fall out of here, go to the left. Might, might jump out of it, but he's a really solid pick in this round. I sat down in the locker room next to Luis, and I said, didn't you buck off pretty fast last night? And he said, yeah, only about two seconds. And I said, how in the world was Catfish John left for you in the draft? That just shows you, uh, man, I, when I looked at the, there wasn't really a bad pick. There wasn't a bull you're going to get stuck with, really. Now, some might have an off day, but a lot of great bulls. He gathered himself back up a couple times during that ride. The last part of the conversation I had with him, he smiled, looked at me and said, it's my lucky day. He wasn't kidding either. That really good effort to keep matching intensity with Catfish Johnny. Gets, gets a little close with his free hand a lot of times, uh, you know, but didn't touch him, I don't think, anywhere throughout there. Judges didn't think so either. 85 and three quarters. Still a really solid bull in Catfish John. Most importantly for Luis, that's his first qualified ride of the week and definitely something to build on. We have now had eight.